Okay? Going deep into it. Go ahead. So uh, verse 50. It says, A nation of fierce continents which shall not regard the person of the old. A nation with fierce countenance that shall not regard the person of the old. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, nor show favor to the to the young. Go ahead, bro. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land. Take the resources. Go ahead, bro. And to thou be destroyed. Till thou be destroyed. Now, doing this right here, Hey, but speak up. Hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Step back a little bit. Step back a little bit. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. Yeah, step back a little bit. Now, speak up. You ain't got to whisper to me. No, what speak I'm up saying. so the people can hear you. Speak so the people You know what I'm saying? You. Speak so the people can hear you because you got information. Take the shackles off your brain. <laughs> Your whole boy wrong. Your whole boy wrong with that, man. Your whole boy wrong, man. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is what I was saying. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. As he's speaking, that you're showing me, that you're showing me that it was destroyed on that menu. So since that was destroyed on that menu, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, you know what that is. Now, I showed him this. This is what I showed the brother, okay? Now, read that for me again, bro. It says, uh, this now, is Deuteronomy this chapter is 28, verse 50. A nation of fierce constant, which shall not regard the person of, of old, of the old, nor show favor to the young. Hell, I today. He a distraction, man. He a distraction. He a distraction, man. Go ahead, man. He a distraction, man. Go ahead. It's uh, verse 51. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not be thee, either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of the, of the cane, or flocks of thy sheep, until he have destroyed thee. So that happened in the ancient world during the Romans, okay? And it happened to us on this side, but we don't control no resources, okay? The banker families control the resource. The Rothschilds, the Dupont, the Gettys, the Warbirds, the Oppenheimer. Yes, sir. Oppenheim. Yes, sir. I was, I was the just banker talking. family. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Hold on. It says, uh, verse 52. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. That will happen in Jerusalem, 70 AD. Go ahead. Until thy high and fierce walls. Go to verse. Jump back up. What verse you at? Uh, 52. Jump up to verse 47. 46. Start at 46. All right. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Mm -hmm. It says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. He's cursed. And upon thy seed forever. He's cursed. So you'll know who we are as Israelites. Okay. Go ahead. Says, verse 47. Because thou served not the Lord thy God with joyfulness mm -hmm. and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Go ahead. Right. 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Whoa! Read that again, bro. It says, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord, the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in all want of things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, slave, until he have destroyed thee. So if you Google image, yoke of iron, that's all you gotta say, yoke of iron, Negro is gonna pop Okay? That's all I can do, brother. Let's now you hold on, hold on. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Right, just, just, I want you to see this by your way. No way. No, I you see him. Just there. by you talking. Just by him saying <laughs> image for people to put an image on you and on your neck that slavery. See right now, if that's the case, I'm not going for slavery. Why not? I'm gonna keep it simple because the military guys taught us to keep it simple. So I'm gonna say I'm not going through slavery. Why? Well, that's, that's, programming. For, that's programming. No, that's programming. Okay, so if that's the that's case. That's slavery. Like, okay, well, if you feel like that's programmed, that's programmed to your eyes. Now, I'm gonna hit you in. What branch of military are you in? What branch of military are you in? What branch of military are you in? National Guard Reserve. What do you mean? We get deployed just like. What I'm saying, sir, is I respect what you're doing. Go. I respect it. 
But it's not me. It's the Heavenly Father. Why you have a hard time? It's the Heavenly Father that's speaking out of that book. So right. that book is spiritual. Right. Give me John 6, 6, 3. John that's all 6, I'm 6, trying 3. to say. That book right Why you just didn't say that then? It's John spiritual. 6, 6, 3. You're John around 6, the bush. And 6, 3. I want him to say everything he got to say because I it want sound him to like get it saying, all out. It sound like he's saying he like what you're doing. He just don't know how to. Even though, even though that, even though that might now, be what, I, saying, I what I want, what I want him to do is hit me with all the questions he got. She so when he leave her, he can't say, okay, well, oh, well, I didn't ask him this. What's that? What Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold right. on, let this come out. You said John what? John 6, 6, 3. Concerning six. spiritual. Yeah, it's all spiritual. You know what I mean? John 6, John chapter 6. Verse 63. Alright, this is uh John chapter 6, verse 63. Go ahead. It is the spirit that quickens me, the flesh puffed the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. See? What you say? Say the fight. Okay, now go back and do the run. 28. Now, concerning image, the reason why. The reason why I wanted you to Google that, and I said that, because our people are visual. You got a lot of our people that don't read, man. Okay? They need uh, and picture they books. But that's, that's, our, that's the condition of our people. Yep. That's the condition of them. That's their fault. That's the condition of them. Okay? Uh, but, uh, but, know, but, know, but that's the reason why, that's the reason why. I fool with our people, but it's not my fault that they don't read how we read. You but, see how we just went through that translation? But, what I'm finna tell you is, you like I said, like I explained to you, the reason why I said the image of the yoga fire because when you pull it up, you gonna see it on Google. And it's in the scripture that said that yoga iron was gonna be on our neck because of the curses. Okay? That's bodily harm. Okay? You right. got it? Go ahead, bro. Back at the run? Yeah. Continue on. And then I'm gonna tell you. Alright, uh it's Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, verse 49. Chilling on chocolate. No, I want you to ask this You want to stop? You want to want to I ain't trying to stop nothing. Go ahead, go ahead. I ain't trying to stop nothing. All of this spiritual. It says, uh... No, right there ain't the right one. Who, oh, him? No, the shirt. I ain't see it. It has the Jesus face. No, he don't look like that according to the Bible. According to the Bible, he don't look like that according to what he really look like is he's black. Yeah, he's a black man. So you know that. He look, he look more... But you know that. Hey, look, listen, listen. He look more like that right there. Something more, no, I'm not gonna even say this. Yeah, because we can get it. Pull it out there. Okay. He looks on here, he's black. He's a black man. Okay, go ahead. And bro. so that speaks when he's speaking in the Bible about the Hebrew children, they really speaking about the black individuals. But, but I'm not even gonna but, go that deep into it because you can't, you can't go that deep into it. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Hey bro, hey bro. When he's speaking about the Hebrew children, he's really speaking about the black people. When he's talking about John and Corinthians Corinthians, he's really talking about how to monopolize no, basic information for first purpose, what I call the subtitle, but it's really the Bible that many books that have been read. So you're going to take his job so, from him? No, I'm not trying no, to do that. No, he can't do that. He can't do I'm that. not trying to do they that. They ordained like that. I'm not trying to do that. They ordained like that. Is, what I'm saying bad. is, listen, go ahead, bro. Read the scripture. You let the but word come see, out. I let the word until come you, out. Until you got something else you want to hit me with. Because I don't want you to go with you. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want you to go until you get all your questions out. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, back in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. It says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle flight. Go ahead. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Go ahead. A nation of fierce consonants, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land. Go ahead. Until thou be destroyed. Go ahead. Which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase the increase of the cane. The kind. Yeah, the kind. Yeah, the cane. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Or flocks of thy sheep until he have destroyed thee. Right, go ahead. It says, uh, verse 52, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until that high and fence walls come down. Yeah, if you go into that history right there, that happened in 70 AD. Let me tell you, okay. If you go into that history, Let me paint you an image of what just, what just happened in Little Rock, though. What happened? What just happened in Little Rock with the tornado hit? That's in the Bible. Why we just leave? Whirlwind. 
Well, hold on, one, one second. What would you leave for myself? The fences are torn down. Now he's reading the story about the fences are torn down. But this is the thing, you know what I'm saying? This is the thing, though. We just left. We just left when the know, tornado I know, I know hit I know where they in Chanel, hit in Ronnie Brown, hit in... Oh, they're going to be hell today. Yeah, it was supposed to rain and everything today. He said that. Oh, no, it's, the hell is going to be size of the corner today. What I'm saying, though, so when he just read, it's what we just... I, I just told him this. But the script is talking about... So well, you can't weather the storm. This is what I'm trying to say. See, when, when, when it's godly, and they said, us four men are godly, and we're on the channel right I don't, now. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't say that. But what I'm going to say, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me speak for me. Concerning it being godly. I'm going to get you this. Give me the Every, one and 21. If you don't believe that you godly, if you don't believe that you godly. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what the scriptures say. I'm going to show you what the scriptures say. You're coming out the book. Yeah. you coming out the book. Do you know what color is your hair? It's two colors. What color is that? It's brown. No, it's really black. You saw that brown, that gold, whatever color it is. Do you know that look like uh, an Indian? I like no. Indian. No, that look blonde. No it it looks blonde. It looks blonde. <laughs> blonde. What that mean, old school? All right, according to the scriptures, blonde is unclean. Oh, man. According to the scriptures, bro, so it's just supposed to be black and gray, is what you tell me? Because I wanted to dye my shit just gray. That's not, that's not natural. Wisdom. That's not natural. You did that? Yo, I'm I asking did. you. I ain't being funny. I'm asking you. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I agree with what you got. I'm going to show you something. Say James but you're not talking about natural as it, as it, as it broke. I'm going to show you something. Go ahead. You said, you said James 1 and 21? Yeah, James 1 and 21. You can start at uh, 20. This is uh, James chapter 1. So what's the mission? Listen, listen. It's, it's uh, James 20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness listen. of the Most High. Uh, That's 21. Start at 22. Sorry, sorry. Start at 22. All right, this is uh, James chapter 1, verse 22. It says, but be ye doers of the word, not hearers only. That's the mission. See that? That's the mission. Read What's the the mission listen, 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 listen. This is uh, James chapter 1, verse 22. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Go ahead. Deceiving your own self. Deceiving yourself. Be doers of the word. Apply to your life. Go ahead. So what's the word like? What do we do? It's uh, verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. So... But the, I'm gonna let him read it out, then I'm gonna break it down. Go ahead, bro. Uh, can continue on or uh, read yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. Verse 24. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Go ahead. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Go ahead. If any man among you seem to be religious or right, so like what? Tell so you where from? I don't know where you are. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Not his, not his tongue. Yeah. But deceiveth his own heart. This so you got to watch what you say. Go ahead. This man's religion is vain. So going back up, start at verse uh, twenty-two. All right, this is uh, James chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word. You have to apply it in your life. You have to apply these scriptures in your life. Okay? You have to apply it. You can't be worldly. But, okay? we, but what do we get pimp trying to do the right thing? thing was, huh? What do we get pimp trying to do? I don't understand what you're saying. Man, so if I'm doing the right, right now, now, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. If I'm doing the right thing, I'm doing the right thing. I, I, I don't know what you're saying. So I'm, I'm helping people move, but he might be on the corner. He panhandling, but he got a Lexus on the side of the building. I'm ditching out money. He ain't supposed to do that. He ain't supposed to do that. What you mean? See, when you come in this truth, when you come in this truth and get an understanding of the scriptures, it's helping with the sermon. Right. Okay? So you won't error in no way like that. You see a man in the other world, why would you, and not teaching the Bible right, why would you uh, fund him to where he'll continue to teach lies? Why would you do that? That's backwards. See? Coming in this truth will help you have that discernment. 
Okay. Go ahead, bro. It says uh, James chapter one verse twenty-two. Be ye doers of the word. Be ye doers of the word. You gotta apply it. All right, in your life. Go ahead. And not hearers only. Yeah. I get what he's saying. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. See, this is the side. Receiving your own self. So what you say, he's telling me I say this, though. No, what I'm telling you is to tell you. He is of the word and not the truth. So you only tell us part. He is like unto a man beholding his natural face in his life. So what it is is, when you hear this word, right? When you hear this word, it's like you look in the mirror when you wake up in the morning, right? You see yourself. Man, you, you see all the coal in your eyes, you see all the coal in your eyes, you see all that. You know what I'm saying? You know you gotta brush teeth all that. When you look in the mirror. That's the same way with the scriptures. When you start diving into these scriptures, you start seeing the flaw. You start seeing uh what you're supposed to correct. So that's why you have to apply these scriptures. Okay? You learn that you're an Israelite, you no longer African American. Okay? African American got in a confused state. I'm just making an example for edification so you understand the scripture. You don't know what edification means. The spiritual builds you up, okay? That's and what, what turns you down? Huh? And what turns you down? America. Right. And not knowing who you are. Right. That's a curse, okay? So edification is the spiritual builds you up. By us breaking these scriptures down to you, the spiritual building you up. See, I think with, I think with niggas, you can't use them type of words. No, no offense to you, I'm just saying. I explained it to him. I know, that's why I asked you to definitely. If he asked me what that means, most I people, tell him. Most people, y'all be pretty, uh, when y'all be talking to people, they don't even know what them words mean. You gotta come with them, like, hey, look. I you gotta come with A, B, C, I one, two, I three, and then leave. You ain't gotta come at me with like that. You can see how educated you. I'm gonna hit you with something, bro. If you hit a nigga with one word. Yeah, but I'm gonna hit you with something. Yeah. Man, our people on Google, Google, Gucci new song. Yeah, Google. Yeah, we on Google. Google. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Nah, let me speak up. 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 I'm talking about our people as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Our people know how to Google. Look at my phone, man. No luck, man. He don't want to hear that shit. No luck, man. No luck. I need to get my phone so I can record him. Because I need my phone, bro. All right. Our people would Google NBA. No, I want to see the 4D. Record the session. We're not done. We're just sitting there talking. Well, our people. No luck, man. Hey, I mean, our saying. people will Google NBA young boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you speak yeah, the truth. Yeah, they'll Google uh, how long how long you got. Because I go to my own music. I don't Google it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I listen to him. I listen to him. But when I say edification, they won't do for that. They see the meaning of it. That's why I said that. You know what I'm saying? So, so when you say it, look, our people don't understand concerning the word. All our people gotta do is use Google. You know what I'm saying? They'll Google how long sight you got. All day long. What Gucci doing? Who shot? They'll Google that all day long. But they won't Google the meaning of the word. Who cares? See? Then you I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna lay it on you. I'm glad you said it. I'm gonna lay it on you. I'm gonna lay it on you. Care about because what? look, when you get into this Bible, I care about what? look, look, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. The reason why I said that the spirit had me say it like that. And the spirit had you say it the way you said it. Who cares? Guess what? In order to keep grow and get deep in this knowledge in the scripture, you gotta look on word. See that? So if you don't if you don't care, you'll be a reprobate. You know what that means? Void of judgment. You won't have no understanding. You just be going to, going along in life living yeah, and thinking and thinking you got it, but you don't. You see? Right. So He's you have to look at words. It's growth. Well, I hear you, I hear you. It's growth. It's growth. You're supposed to grow every day. By yeah. looking at words. Yes, full sir. Of yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look yes, at those words, man. If yes, you don't sir. know what a word means, you think I mean you like, man, what do you say? What that mean? Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Google it. You believe ahead, in Google, bro. don't you? Google it. He Google sites. He Google Gucci, man. You believe in Google, don't you? Go ahead, Google bro. It. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, verse 24. I want to see something else, bro. Uh, 
Where y'all going? Man, hold on, man. Where y'all going, bro? We feel like we're going to do what the white folks do. He said we're trying to get on some females. We feel like doing what the white folks do. Why not? Hey, man. Because that's part of being fruitful. That's wrong. Right. Listen, 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 listen. He said he's going to go get some females. Guess what happened to Adam when he went to go? We ain't talking about Adam. My name ain't Adam. <laughs> you you a ain't seen it, though. You ain't seen it, though. Say it again. You ain't seen it, though. <laughs> you got that vibration, you. Hey, you got that vibration, buddy. You should do it like that. I, I had to. You got yourself like you stepped into it. I stepped into it. Alright, come on. Alright, go ahead, bro. That's what I want. Go ahead. This is, uh, this is James chapter 1, verse 21. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, wherefore lay apart all filthiness. All filthiness. Okay. That's wickedness. Okay. Go ahead. And superfluity. Superfluity. Super, super fluidity means the abundance of wickedness. Okay? Go ahead. Of naughtiness. Of naughtiness. Go ahead. And receives with meekness the engrafted word. Engrafted word means instruction. Go ahead. Which is able to save your soul. That's what you want, man. You want to hear this word which is able to save your soul, man. You want to apply it in your life, man. You see? He thinking with the wrong head right now. Ain't that what Coach Lewis was telling us? Well, that was the you downfall. You think you the wrong head, That was the downfall, was the downfall it ain't, it ain't, of, that, of the Adamite. This is in the E. You think with the wrong head. You know what the Bible said about these women. You know what the Bible said. You know what the Bible said about these women. Do you know? I can tell you what it's like. I can tell you what it's like. I can tell you what it's like.